let's talk about pot. Okay. Is pot healthy? There's so much going on in media nowadays, you know, as they're legalizing <laughs> marijuana in different places. There's so, such a good PR that you, it's healing. Would you have your two-year-old son, would you have, a, you know, your five-year-old son, would you have your five-year-old son smoking weed? No. Exactly. Would most people have their one-year-old kid smoking weed? No. Or their dogs, or cats, whatever. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't put anything that's going to cause a burden to your child. And so why would you continue to get older? You think that you have the right to put a burden to your body? So it's going to cause a burden to your liver, to your lungs, to your throat. However you, you ingest it, it's going to cause some sort of burden because it doesn't need to be in there. Um, also dehydrates you. Why do you want to be all wrinkly? I mean, is that something exciting? Do you want to be all wrinkly and dehydrated like a little prune? Or do we want to be vibrant, essential, loving, um, excited, connected, not numb? See, the, the marijuana is just going to numb you. Everyone I know that's on that shit just becomes more and more numb, disconnected, playing video games all day long and movies and, and whatever it is to distract themselves from this pain that they feel from eating a diet that's causing them pressure and constipation. You know, so marijuana is just another another way to, to escape reality, you can say. And what about yourself. What about ayahuasca? The same thing. It's another. It's another. Any substance that you put into your body, that your body doesn't need, that you don't need to live, is just an encumbrance. It's just a burden. So, and especially if it gives you any kind of hallucinogenic effects or trips, oftentimes that substance is just triggering something in your own body to give you that. So your body's producing the hallucinogenic, hallucinogenic effects or high effects, whatever you want to call them, and the drug is only introducing something that's pretty poisonous to the body. And so the body's way to uh, react to that is to give you these things. So everything that you need is within your own body. How crazy is that? Everything you need is within your own body. All those things do is just activate what your body would do anyway. So there is ways to actually bring those effects out of you without any substances. But these substances are touted as ceremonial, as sacred, as you know, religious practices, whatever. It's just another way to be addicted to something. And my whole passion is to know myself and to remove myself from any kind of addictions and slaveries, any slave masters, and ayahuasca, marijuana, cocaine, heroin, alcohol, meats, all meats and dairy foods, those are all addictive stuff that when you try to withdraw from them, you know, you, you'll definitely shake, shudder, uh, freak out, you know, feel that you need a dependence of them. So those kind of things I don't want to go through. Mm -hmm. you, one time you said that this shake, uh, that animals also shake themselves off when they have trauma. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? Well, I, I've read, um, Shelley, I think is his book, uh, Trauma Releases and Exercises, but someone else can read it and find out for themselves. But from what I've understood and observed, when an animal goes into a fight with another animal, let's say two dogs are fighting, the dogs will shake it off after they're done fighting, you know, they'll release that, that tension. Where humans, when we get into a fight or an argument, sometimes we just build up and we have that anger, tension, and tension against the other person for a longer period of time. We've had wars. In violence in history where you know they've had family wars for for generations because of the hatred they had so when somebody takes a substance like an alcohol a drug um, a food they shouldn't be eating uh, instead of releasing that stuff out of their body it just constipates them and stays inside their body even longer so causing more agitation more pressure more pain and um, and eventually disease so disease can be like a war you can consider disease a disorder like a disease a war from continuing keeping a constipated effect.